Investor Books products using QuickBooks. How to enter a purchase of real estate. A lot of folks get stuck on that one. I've done it once before and it was a little cumbersome, but this is going to be straight to the point and you can apply this to any deal that you do. We're going to pretend our purchase price, this is our sample information. We could take this right off of a, settle, a HUD-1 settlement statement or closing statement. Our purchase price is going to be 500 bucks. Let's say that you put up earnest money of $500. You're going to get a new loan from Morse Bank of 100000 and then they have their little incidental fees that they charge, a loan app fee, a flood cert, attorney fee, lender's title insurance, and it could go on and on. They could have 15 or 20 more things. Another thing that happens frequently is they will prorate the property taxes according to your purchase date. And so in this example, they're giving us back $1,285 because we're going to get the whole bill here in just uh, a few weeks at the end of the year. So that's our scenario. We're going to start with a check or with a deposit. So in this, in this situation, we're going to be taking a check to our closing. We're going to write a check because we're going to need cash to buy this property. So but before we get started, remember I said there was an earnest money check. Let me show you how to enter this. 